Hello, and welcome back to a Clone Wars review. Clone review. Yes, in today's episode we're going to be looking at episode 4, which is an uh, unfinished business. It's the final episode of the Bad Batch arc. It's over. We probably won't be seeing the Bad Batch ever again in um, Star Wars Media. Maybe like an occasional one-off here and there, but I do not think that we'll see them again in the, uh, in the Clone Wars, that is. What happens in this episode? Well, it's unfinished business, of course. <laughs> All right. Episode 4. Uh, this is probably my third favourite, maybe second favourite of all the episodes. Um, yeah, it's been a solid season so far. I've been a big fan. Well done Dave Filoni. You've, you've been doing good. I can't remember seeing the story rule for this, but I, do, I, I did like the episode nonetheless. I kind of knew what was going to happen, but it was still a good episode, right? Let me give you an overview with a bit of, bit of detail. So, it's, the, it's time for the final assault on an axis, right? So they're just vibing. On an axis, you got Mace Windu, you got Anakin, you got Obi Wan Kenobi. Now people are unsure with Echo, like, is he still a Seppi? Is he actually back? Who knows? So he's like, "Yo, all right, fellas, I got a plan." Rex is like, "Hell no!" But he's like, Bro, "I got a plan." What he does is he puts his little um, astromech nub, shoves it into the thing, and he's like, "So basically, right, I was hooked up to the Separatists, and I fed them information, right? But now I'm having us win." I'm going to give them the wrong information. You guys are going to know what I'm going to do. So they lose. And I was like, yo, fucking solid idea. What do we need to do? And to do that, they need to get onto a Separatist flagship. Mm-hmm. Classic flagship espionage time. So this was a pretty espionage-filled episode. So the clip they posted before the episode is of Mace Windu and Obi-Wan Kenobi um, starting the assault on the assembly plant. And it shows Mace Windu trying to, trying to negotiate with the droids, and I just love that clip for some reason. It's so funny, because like, obviously everyone's considered the negotiator, right? But then you've got Mace Windu trying to negotiate with a bunch of battle, bo battle droids. They're like, bro, what's this man on? <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, I just killed a lot of you, so surrender, and uh, you can serve the Republic. And they're like, bro, do we get a pension plan? Do we get healthcare? Bro. So yeah, that was pretty funny. No one's like, bro, I'm the negotiator here, come on. So yeah, they're, they make it up to the Separatist flagship. They uh, disguise their ship as um, your classic Separatist transport. Come on, what the uh, the ship name will be on screen. I do like the the, the ship they they pretended to be. It was funny because on the scanners, they were displaying as their normal ship. But then Echo transmitted a code and it just changed into a Separatist ship. And they're like, yeah, that's fine. Nothing weird going on here. So they managed to... Uh, a board the ship, they stick to the bottom of it. I don't know the uh, logistics of sticking to the bottom of a ship, but it seemed to work, so that's good enough, I guess. So they get on the ship, they make their way to the uh, main like tower thing on the ship, because all droids um, have a signal beamed to them from wherever the command post is, I believe. And so this was on the ship, um, sending it down to the planet. So Echo hacks into that. And then it pretends to be the uh, pretends to be the algorithm again. Mace Windu the one. They're on a bit of a bit of a mare trying to map all these droids. I mean, eventually, of course, they do. They destroyed the, the wave that was on the assembly plant. But Echo's plan is is a work of art. All right, it's a work of art. He wants to send in more droids. <laughs> yes. Now. When I first heard this plan, I was like, bro, what the fuck, what fuck kind of plan is that? You want to send in every droid unit that's on an axis? And ju why? But obviously he wants to overload the signal, and he does, and he makes them all shut down, and Admiral Trench is like, what the fuck? Now he's seen this from the same angle we are, so I'm not sure where his camera is. <laughs> but yeah, he's seeing everything we're seeing, so, you know, is what it is. And then they're like, oh shit, the algorithm came from on board the ship, not Skako Minor. What the heck? So Admiral Trench sends in his security detail, which is just super battle droids. And, they, uh... and then, right, to convolute matters even more, Admiral Trench is like, great battle commanders do not rely on algorithms, despite him relying on an algorithm before. And he, he thought, yeah, you know what? Sending all these droids, crush the Jedi, solid plan. It's not like they've killed thousands, if not millions of droids in the Clone Wars at all. So he's like, yeah, we'll just crush him in it. And then they all shut down, he's like, what the fuck? So then he uses his big brain to, uh... He's just hidden a bomb <laughs> in the assembly plant next to the uh, fusion reactor. Now, fusion reactors, they seem to be causing a lot of issues in Star Wars, right? 
And I don't know why... Why is that the most accepted source of energy, right? This is what the... The, the fucking energy departments... They want you to believe. Big fusion reactor... They're trying to sell you fusion reactors when we know that they're fucking dangerous. We know that most problems in Star Wars can be solved by blowing up a fusion reactor. Do you want your fusion reactor to blow up? No, you don't. So switch from a fusion reactor today. Go back to good old Sterling engines. <laughs> but yeah, there's a bomb just chilling. It's a fucking huge bomb, to be fair, and it'll destroy like half of an axis, apparently. So Mace Windu goes down to uh, disarm it. I must say, actually, yeah. Uh, the designs of Mace Windu's troops and Jesse, fucking cool. Love how they look. Um, yeah, <laughs> just, thought I'd, just thought I'd let you know. But yeah, um, so they they bust on down, Mace Windu busts on down, and him and Echo, they uh, work to disarm the bomb. He's, he tells them the numbers, Mace Windu uses the force to uh, the numbers, and then, yeah, he gets... And then when they realise that the uh, signal was from on board the ship, they uh, send a counter signal, which, like, fries Echo's brain or some shit. So he can't give him the last number, it's, like, right at the last second. Then Anakin fucking busts in, he's like, bro... Admiral Trench, what the fuck? Give me the code now. Admiral Trench is like, no, bro, you're a Jedi, you're not going to kill me. He said, he's like, no, Count Dooku will kill me if I lose an axis. And then Anakin's like, you think I won't? And then he chops off his arms, threatens him again. You can really see his dark side tendencies popping through. Then he uh, he gets the code from good old Admiral Trench, tells Mace Windu the number, number seven. Then Mace Windu fucking hits his staff on the floor with a little electric shock, tries to zap Anakin, and then Anakin fucking runs his lightsaber through him and kills him instantly. <laughs> well, not instantly, but almost instantly. And then he um, walks over to a terminal, gets a fucking detonator for the ship, which I thought was for the bomb originally. I thought Wrecker was going to press the button and it, would gonna, it was going to blow up an Axis, but no, it was for the ship. So this will make a good present for, present for Wrecker. And then Admiral Trench's body falls to the floor and has, has a little, uh, little seize before it dies. And then they make their way out of uh, the, the capital ship. Now, first of all, Wrecker just runs through a fucking huge line of droids. But then what Crosshair does, right? Crosshair has these like little sp sticky mirror things, and he, he throws one at a droid, and it sticks to him. And then what he does is he shoots his laser at it, and then it rebounds off this little, little mirror thing. So he kills three droids with like one shot or something. Or two shots. And then he's throwing these on all the walls, right? So when they're about to leave, and then like... They're just waiting for everyone. Then this like huge line of droids comes and then fucking Crosshair aims at this mirror thing, shoots it, and it just pings all a, all across the corridor, killing all the droids. It was amazing. And Wreck was like, oh my god, because they have like this little competition to see who can kill the most droids or something then. And Crosshair won. And then finally, to finish this all off, Wrecker blows up the Separatist command ship. It explodes in a glorious display. And they, they return to an Axis. And then there's like a... They, they thank the Bad Batch for their work and say that there are medals coming their way, like a medal giving ceremony. But the Bad Batch are like, nah, we don't do medals. We do it for the thrill. So they, they're they about to dip. And they're like, and um, Hunter, is this, I can't remember, no, Cutter or something. He's like, yo, Echo, you, if you want to join, if you don't feel like you belong with the regs, then you can join us. And then he's like kind of thinking about it. And then Captain Rex comes up to him like, bro, I've known you for years. If that's where you want to go, then go. Now, obviously, Rex is sad about this. And uh, Echo does, he does join the Bad Batch. And the end scene, you know, almost made me tear up a bit. They all salute Captain Rex. And I thought that was, that was amazing. So, yes, we're finally done with the Bad Batch arc. I liked it, to be fair. It was a pretty solid arc. Um, I'm not sure what's next. It's either the Utapau stuff or we might be seeing Ahsoka. Hopefully we see Ahsoka soon. And yeah, if you guys have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe. There are TF2 videos coming, I promise. I'm working on one right now. It's got Pyro Joe in it. It's going to be sick. Okay, it's just taking a lot of work to do because I need to do SFM renders for a bunch of, bunch of stuff. Okay, it's coming, I promise. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah, that wristwatch costs a hundred grand.